Hello, in this clip I'd like to talk about some of the features of the open source point of sale pro program. And if we look in here in store config, we change the company name to checker from the original, from the default name, and we can put the address in here. There has to be something, because this is highlighted in red, it requires an input. It can be Main Street or wherever we want. The phone, and we put VAT at 20% and tax to at 10% as an illustration. And what it does with tax rates is to add them all together. It doesn't compound them or multiply them, it adds them. So it shows one and then the other one below it and it adds them together, um, adds that onto the sale price and so you get the total. I'll come back to that in a moment. In the currency symbol box, we've put some HTML code for a pound sign, a pound symbol, rather than just putting a keyboard character because the keyboard characters don't always show up <coughs> in all web browsers so it's safer to put a code in. The email is for admin and that's um, useful to have if someone wants to contact the administrator with any query. That's just a dummy email address at the moment. Tax and website of course can go in their details and in the return policy we put a statement there that will show on all invoices or receipts whatever you choose to call them and you can make it a bit longer by dragging this box out um, but um, remembering it's going on a small receipt and there may not be a lot of room we chose the English language it could have been Indonesian or Spanish but we're doing this in English and from the list we chose Greenwich Mean Time for London by checking that box, um, the program will generate a receipt for each sale. It won't print it unless we want it to. There is an option at the checkout. If we have a look at this business of two rates of sales tax, I'll go into reports and I'll look at one that was done earlier. If I go to detailed reports and sales, if I go all time, submit, there's one here, POS3, and we can look at that receipt from the 12th of the 1st, or the 1st of the 12th. And we see that in there, there were two rates of tax. So we had a subtotal here for the sale. 10% was 1.06, and 20% was 2.12. And the total is correct if we add that up quickly. 1378, which is correct. So that person paid tax, or that cash um, purchaser paid cash, and there was no change due, so it shows zero, and that's correct. And there's our little statement, please read our terms and conditions of sale, and that will have details of returns policy and so forth in it. That was a quick bit about that. Now in the items, we did put an item here just as an illustration, and if we edit that item, we can see what was done here. So we said it's barcode for simplicity, we just put LR for Little Rock. And this is based on the base of tax which applied at Little Rock in Arkansas at the time this was done. And we're pretending here that it's a rock for a garden, for a rockery. And the item cost price was 5, and the unit price, the selling price was 10. And in Arkansas at the time, there was, in Little Rock that is, in the city, there was a state tax of 7% and a city tax of half a percent. Um, we show the quantity that was in stock and the reorder level, blah blah blah, and the backyard, we're pretending it's in Bay 35 in the backyard of the store. And we just call it Little Rock. We don't need an alternative description and there's no serial number, <coughs> so that's okay as it is we can close that. If we process a sale and we put in LR there's our item. Suppose we bought 10 of them and we edit it here and it puts the price up to 100 which is correct and we can see here on the right that the subtotal is 100 City tax is 0.5 and the state tax is 7, a total of 107.5. So if we added a payment, say we're paying by debit card, 
we add the payment and we complete the sale are you sure? yes we are there's the um, ability, the option to print it to a file or to a printer we can do a print preview but we'll cancel and we'll just have a look at this one on the screen and there we have our details again so it's all correct and it's showing that these um, items of tax were added on their own lines the whole thing was totaled and, and that's okay for two rates of tax which are dealt with in that way we know that some countries and states have three rates of tax or there may be more in some cases and they may be handled a different way so this program uh, this version as it was designed here will deal with two rates of tax in that fashion it may not suit everybody but it will suit many uh, many countries only have one rate of tax so it's not a problem I thought that might be worth talking about I'll do some more t uh, topics in short clips later hope that was of interest to someone thanks for listening bye for now